Good evening, everyone. We're starting a live walk tonight in Knoxville, Tennessee. It is a very cold winter evening, and we're going to go explore the campus of the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. Hey, George. Good evening. It's a bit of an unplanned live walk tonight in Knoxville, Tennessee. And it is a very cold 30 degrees out. Let me check. Yeah, 31 degrees. So let's explore. I don't know my way around the university at all. So we'll get lost and see what there is to see around here. I don't expect to see a lot of people though. School is in session, but uh, everybody's probably smarter than me and they're hiding away in their dorms and apartments. Very slick. That is Cumberland Avenue. For reference, that's where we walked the other day. World's Fair Park is over here, and there's the city. So we're down by the college campus this time. That bridge was icy. So I gotta watch my step and be a little careful. I also should have worn gloves. The things that I forget. I think this is the general direction of, oh, here's a cool shot of the sun sphere. This is the general direction of the football stadium. So we'll head in this in this direction. Hey Greg, glad you could join. We're walking around campus in the University of Tennessee, Knoxville on a very, very cold day. chemistry receiving department. I guess that makes this the chemistry building. Nitrous oxide. Nitrogen, frozen nitrogen, liquid nitrogen. Who knows? It's a big building up there. Uh, and here's the engineering building. Kind of 
remarkable. It's probably one of the older schools on campus though. Hey Neil, welcome. Greg asked if this is the biggest of the UT campuses and the answer to that is yes, by a wide margin. This is a very, very big school. Oh, that's a good, look at that view. That's very nice. That's the bridge we walked out on the other day during the live walk. Not sure what that building is, but we're on a college campus, so uh, I'd say there will be a sign for almost everything. There's downtown Knoxville over here. Here we have a Smokey the Dog statue. Smokey is one of the mascots of the University of Tennessee. Oh, this specifically is Smokey the Eighth. Uh, he was the mascot during the 1998 National Championship with, if memory serves me, 1998 was when Peyton Manning was the quarterback at the University of Tennessee a long time ago. Uh, and here's Nayland Stadium. This is the football stadium right in the middle of campus. I think maybe I saw an engineering symbol on this building as well, so this might be an extension. Nope, science and engineering research facility. Neil says this looks like a nice place. Yeah, yeah, it's a very nice campus. And it's right next to downtown. And there's a river that goes by, so it really is, it's a nice place. I'm a sucker for college campuses. Definitely will not get to go into the stadium, but this thing is massive. Something like 120,000 or 110,000 seats in the stadium. And it just keeps on going that way. We're gonna walk past the end zone side here. The stadium is famous for having a checkerboard pattern, orange and white checkerboard pattern in the end zone. You can just barely see down that way, past the dumpster, you can see the river down there game days a whole bunch of people will take their boats out and uh, float by the stadium hmm should we go that way or should we head up these stairs I'll let you guys decide type it in the chat are we going up the stairs or down past the stadium I'll give you just a minute to type stairs or continue past stadium Stairs received votes. Stairs it is. I think I'm having pizza for dinner, so Neil, you have uh, helped me burn some calories in advance of my pizza. These old buildings are like the size of castles. Greg votes for the stairs as well. It's a landslide. 
might get a good stadium view at the top of these stairs too when we look back. I almost didn't do the walk tonight because I just finished up filming a 4K dash cam video driving through the mountains of Tennessee. And I'll try and post that for tomorrow or the day after. Get a little bit of walk in with you guys. We'll probably do about an hour because it's really cold out here. But I'll try and get an hour in. All right, almost to the top. Oh, this is pretty up here. Good choice, guys. Wow. Nice. I guess that's like a main administrative building. And it's ringed all the way around by other brick buildings. Wow, what a place, very cool. The physics building, the engineering building. And this has got to be the main administrative building. And this also will probably be my thumbnail for the video tonight. Can't imagine us getting anything cooler than this. do you know how old the campus is no I don't but there might be a sign we can look it up on the Google machine later I'll keep my my eye out for historical markers it's been here a while I do know that my grandmother went to this university my dad also went to this university. He got his PhD here anyway. Wait a minute. <laughs> There's a historic. We'll get Neil his answer. Ask and ye shall receive Neil. A land grant university. Let's see what it says. There you go. Eighteen sixty nine. So it's been here a while. Hello, Professor. Professor, you'll be glad to know we're at a university. I love this old brick kind of arc building. Like the Roman flats in Bath. There's Nayland Stadium straight through the, the crack there. Yes, Professor, this is you. And we are checking out a little sunset walk. And another Smokey statue. <laughs> the last one we saw was Smokey the Eighth. Let's see which one this is. Smokey the Ninth. In 2012. Good boy. All right, this looks like a good direction to go now. I 
planned everything well tonight except for getting my gloves. That's gonna be the limiting factor tonight is frozen hands. I'm all bundled up otherwise. Let me flip around, I'll say hi to everybody. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm all bundled up. I'm wearing my face mask for warmth instead of for safety and protection. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, the puppy coat and the beanie hat. Uh, look at the layers and layers of campus through here. really pretty. Uh, and then I really, really dig this walkway, this illuminated elevated path through campus. Very nice. I think we're definitely going to walk down this pathway. We'll find some more smoky statues as well. The geography building. They've got nice hydration stations. And I've got a drippy nose now. Yeah, this walkway is great. We're going to get a nice shot of the stadium over here on the left, too. All right, looks like a student union building here. A pretty massive student center, I think. At least it looks like it from the different layers there. All right, let's go check out Nayland Stadium in the evening. I think it's massive, so big. Wow. It is a pretty campus though. Oh, I see another Smokey statue. All right, we've had Smokey eight and nine. Are we gonna keep going up or are we going back down? We'll get one last good look at Nayland Stadium here. Thing is so huge. I'll look it up later, but I want to say it's it's a hundred thousand or hundred and ten thousand seats in that stadium. And some real dogs and smoky. All right, let's check out Smokey here. I'm gonna go with Smokey the sixth. No, we keep going up. This is Smokey the tenth. I think this is the UT library up here, this building with all the different levels and layers. George Lopez, next smoky statue, I will rub its belly for you. <laughs> if, if that's not a good luck thing, it should be. We keep going up though. So will the next one be Smokey the 11th? The 
lights are very nice tonight. Kind of a dreary evening. Yeah, that's the library, I was right. All right. I think we will go up another block or two before we head back down Cumberland Avenue, the main drag. Aztecs and San Diego State are getting a new football stadium. That's cool. Who was the San Diego State Aztec that was so famous? Was it Marshall Falk? Was he a San Diego State Aztec? I think that's right. says uh, you'd have to plan your classes to keep your walking distance. I think that's right. Because we've only walked about halfway across campus and we're almost 25 minutes in. sculpture up here. And I see a theater in the background as well. The Clarence Brown Theater. So that must be the campus arts theater. Performing hall. Performance hall. Courtyard in there. Might be a dorm area though, and don't really want to wander through residential areas of campus filming. <laughs> All right, we're going to come down here and hang a right. It is a pretty evening though. Not hanging right there. Maybe at the next spot. I do like this kind of main walking thoroughfare through the university. It's a cool building. All right, looks like we can hang it right here. So, a long time ago, everybody, I was raised Catholic, and my dad was getting his PhD at the University of Tennessee. And this was the church we went to on campus, St. John the 23rd, named after a pope, I believe, who was sainted. I'm no longer a practicing Catholic. My dad is no longer a practicing college professor, but this was a big part of my childhood. It's building right up here. There it is. The 
I remember coming to service here and Sunday school and even doing the uh, nativity play. It's like a lifetime ago. There you go. Every little video you get to learn a little bit more about me. the Methodist building. We're gonna come down here to Cumberland Avenue, which is the main drag. And if you take Cumberland Avenue that way, you'll get to a whole bunch of restaurants and bars, and if you take it that way, you go back towards downtown. You can see that we did have a little bit of snow here. It's gonna be another busy week at work. So I may not get as many videos as I want to this week, but definitely gonna get that um, driving video to you. And at least one more walk from Knoxville. I really wanna try and get a zoo walk in. I haven't done the Knoxville Zoo yet, but they close at their winter hours. They close at like four o'clock. It's actually a really nice hotel. It used to be kind of a boring Hilton Garden Inn and a brand called The Graduate bought it and they make like kind of locally relevant hotels in college towns. Professor, I think there's one up by you in Bloomington that I've stayed at before. Yeah, Professor, I think you're right. walk in the weather would be difficult. That guy didn't look too happy to see me. Let's go this way. I can show you a little bit of Cumberland Avenue. And here's the Graduate Hotel. See if I can walk by and show you the. I know it looks like a boring hotel on the outside, but the insides are usually really, really nice. Very unique. Hello, Bear. Welcome to the Graduate Knoxville. You get kind of a peek inside. Hardwood. University themed decor. Pretty cool. And here's the strip. Let's go check out the Cumberland Avenue Strip. Yeah, here we are. 
typical college campus strip. We've got cool local restaurants and bars, and smoking places, some apartment rental places, drug stores, cell phone stores. You can kind of see it just goes on forever down that way, down Cumberland Avenue. It's about a mile of food and restaurant and apartments. tonight we'll walk down Cumberland Avenue and then I will kill the stream as we get to the bottom of Cumberland Avenue the edge of campus so it'll be about a 40 minute stream tonight I think but it's good to see everybody for sure and I hope you enjoyed the little walk around University of Tennessee Knoxville main campus Pizza place in Chipotle. Sub shop. Empty space. If anybody wants to open up a restaurant. Chicken place. It's closed. Food Express. Also closed. Public Policy Center here. Maybe part of the law school. It is a cold evening. These are all dorms over here. watching and hasn't said hi yet, introduce yourself if you get a chance. And if you're watching this now or later, I hope you subscribe. This channel is an exploration channel where we do walks and drives, sometimes live, sometimes pre-recorded 4K. But I hope you can join us. We explore mainly the southeastern United States, but we venture a little further sometimes. I have always enjoyed how the iPhone handles the early evening. Very pretty. Oh, that is a bigger building than I thought when you stand back and look at it. Pretty massive. I think most of this over here is dorms. It's a very large school. It's gotta be at least 25,000 students who go to this campus. And we will not jaywalk because there is a police officer just over there. But now we can walk. There's our police officer friend hanging out over there. And I think this is the student center building that we saw earlier. Oh, check this out. university student here. Very nice. Sorry. 
I see a sign for Steak and Shake in there. Definitely a student union. And very pretty building. Neil, Neil says thanks for the tour. Neil, you are most welcome. Great to see you here. And we'll keep going down to this illuminated bridge you can see up in the distance crossing the road. And that'll be our end point for the walk today because that marks the edge of campus. We got another five minutes though to get there. It's a pretty sign down here. See the University of Tennessee over the street. That's the elevated walkway we walked over earlier. It's very pretty. I think that's the back side of the administrative building we saw earlier too. It is pretty in the early evening here. This says the University of Tennessee, the hill. And that I believe is the, the main administrative building up there that we saw earlier. That is a massive building over here. So, so cool. Dead scooter. I don't know what this building is. But you can see everywhere, there's like uh, architectural nods to the orange and white checkerboards in the football stadium end zone. So it's a, a neat little detail that they kind of carry through a lot of the buildings. Do I really need to wait? No, I don't. Because it's go time. There's the sign. It's on. All right. Well, like I said, we're walking to that bridge. And that's our last stop this evening. I really do hope that everybody enjoyed the walk. It was nice walking with you and exploring the University of Tennessee's Knoxville main campus. 
and uh, be on the lookout either today or excuse me either tomorrow or the next day for a really pretty dash cam video we'll be walking through or driving through snow-covered mountains between Kentucky and Tennessee it's a lot to see on that video I'm gonna try and put some really nice uh, classical music in the background so hope you enjoyed it to all the regulars who were here for the premiere for the live stream thank you so much really really appreciate you guys always joining me so thankful um, to have you following the channel and uh, everybody I will see you next time let me flip around and say goodbye there we go we'll get the bridge in the background there uh, thank you everybody it's been wonderful walking with you this evening hope to see you again soon um, later this week have a wonderful week stay safe everybody thanks so much bye bye